To begin, enter the meeting by typing aas238.vfairs.com in your browser. If you receive the daily email on Monday, June 7th, it will also have an enter the meeting button. Once you click that button and enter the meeting, you will then sign in using your username and password that you use to register for AAS 238. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have already signed in, so we will bypass that step. Entering the meeting, you will first encounter the main lobby. Calling your attention to the top of the screen, there is a navigation bar that indicates each of the sections of the meeting that you are able to join in order to navigate the platform. Using your mouse, you will either navigate the platform using the navigation bar at the top or by clicking any of the black words in the lobby or the visual mediums, meaning the photos and logos that you see here. Beginning with the welcome message, upon entering the lobby on the morning of the meeting, you will be encountering a message from the AAS president and AAS executive officer. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will skip said video. Navigating the platform, I will begin by first clicking on message board. This is also found in the navigation bar as bulletin board. Clicking the message board, you will have a browser open up that will um, highlight announcements, tutorials, careers, exhibitor announcements, along with member celebrations. This is a new feature in the virtual meeting platform, but a great activity for all members to engage in. Navigating back to the meeting, I'm going to exit this browser tab and use my mouse to navigate the next portion of this meeting. Wanting to view the scientific sessions or the auditorium, I'm simply going to click auditorium from the navigation screen. It will then bring me to the auditorium where I will click the center screen to join sessions. Opening up this session of the day, it will begin with your My Schedules tab, followed by workshops, the daily sessions, exhibitor webinars, press conferences, and career. Before we discuss the My Schedule section, I'm going to click into Monday, June 7th to see the various events going on. As I look for the various events, I see the session number, title of the session, to the right is the date and time this session is scheduled for. I also see a countdown clock here, three days, four hours, and 37 minutes. If this session is scheduled to begin within five minutes, that countdown becomes the join button. Again, let me repeat, five minutes before the session is scheduled to begin, the join button will appear for you to join that session. For now, I will continue to navigate this screen looking at this session. I notice the session icon along with the date and time of the session again. I also see the chat on Slack button. This will allow you to join the specific session channel associated to this session. The session channel that matches the session will be numbered and name, titled the same as the session. I see there is also um, a description of the session and the more info. Clicking more info will bring you to the program planner, which will allow you to view abstracts associated with that session, the schedule of presentations or talks that will take place during that session as well. Navigating back to the platform, I am going to click X on the browser tab. It brings me right back to that particular session. I see the ads to my schedule. I'm going to click that button to add it to my schedule, and I then we'll come back to my mid-session browser that shows the My Schedule tab, and this has the session that I would like on my schedule. Also noting on this description, to the bottom left-hand corner, there's the Add Calendar button. You can click that and add this session specifically to your personal calendars via Yahoo, Apple, Google, Outlook, everything is listed here. Navigating back to the main lobby, I will then bring my mouse up to the browser, excuse me, up to the navigation bar. Clicking lobby, I come back to the lobby and I'd like to now visit the networking lounge. Also indicated at the top 
in the navigation bar. Clicking Networking Lounge from the lobby brings you to the lounge in which you, which you can choose to chat on Slack, attend any of the social media platforms, or join GatherTown to discuss with fellow colleagues and members of the, meet, of the AAS. Navigating back to the main lobby, I bring my mouse back up to the navigation bar, clicking Lobby, and now I would like to find more information or ask a question to tech support. From there, I'm going to click Info Booth, and I see that I can click here for tech support or click here for Frequently Asked Questions. Frequently Asked Questions will bring up another tab in your browser window that has up-to-date information on frequently asked questions regarding the meeting. Navigating back to the main meeting, I'm going to exit that tab in my browser. Using my navigation bar, I'm going to now click the iPoster gallery. That brings up another tab that allows you to view any of the iPosters presenting in the meeting. Clicking on the iPosters will open up the specific iPoster that you would like to view. I see lots of great science here. Noting the bottom right of the screen, I see the abstract information, contact author, print and get iPoster. This is a great way to review the science ahead of the meeting. Navigating back to the virtual platform, I am going to exit this tab in my browser. I am then going to click Exhibit Hall from the navigation bar. In the Exhibit Hall, I see lots of great booths. I see banner information from the various sponsors and exhibitors held within the meeting. Also noting the bottom left corner of the screen, I see an exhibitor index that lists all of the exhibitors participating in AAS 238. To the right, I see Exhibit Hall Activities. I click that button and it opens up the daily activities that will take place in the Exhibit Hall. Noting there is an event happening on Tuesday, June 8th with, uh, looks like the NSF team is hosting a meet and greet. What a great event. And here's the direct link to attend said event. Navigating back to the virtual meeting, I'm gonna click X from my browser. Using my navigation bar, I am then going to review resources of the meeting. Clicking resources, I notice there's a documents tab and a video vault. The documents tab looks like is various information provided by the various exhibitors and sponsors of the meeting. If I'd like to keep any item to review later, I simply will click plus to the swag bag, navigate X, and in my swag bag is all the material that I've collected thus far. I can send these items to myself via email by clicking select all and the email button. What a great way to review items at my leisure once the meeting has concluded. Navigating back to the virtual meeting, I see other things on the tab, including the meeting survey. I also note here I can shop merchandise for some great items that are being ava made available by Startorialist for AAS 238. Navigating back to the meeting, I'm going to use my browser to now rejoin the lobby by clicking lobby from the navigation bar. As I scroll back down to the meeting, I see exhibit hall, scientific oral sessions, iPoster gallery, networking lounge, various buttons that I can click to navigate the meeting. Should you have any questions or concerns as you continue to enjoy AAS 238, please contact meetings at aas.org we will all be made available to you for any questions, tips, and tricks that you also need to know, or you're welcome to chat with us on Slack. Here is the Slack button that also gets you to us. Thank you.